it feels like you're healing at the same time that you're going through it because you are not you're not having the opportunity to make the choices that you really would make and so there's sort of like um being put back into a space that you are fearful of resulting in sort of like the same outcome that it resulted in the first time that's kind of what i'm getting from this hi taurus welcome to your april 2023 reading so we have a few cards that have already been drawn for you guys as well as a rune that will kind of be a part of the underlying theme for you guys in april but before we get started i want to apologize for how raspy my voice sounds today i am getting over the a cold but i wanted to make sure that you guys had a reading before April began. So I just wanted to point it out and thank you guys in advance for your patience with me. So yeah, let's get into you guys' reading. So let's actually look at some of these cards before we even talk about the rune theme. All right, so the first card we have here is Forgotten. We have Mysticism. We have Have Faith. Trust in the decisions you've made regarding the situation or relationship. You are on the right path for you at this moment. Have more faith in the direction that you're going towards and take a leap of faith towards new beginnings. The right doorways will be opened and revealed to you. All right, we also have the fates in reverse. And then um, let us hold off on pulling more cards that we've already drawn and just kind of talk about what we have here. So with the fates card here, as well as this rune, this rune kind of talks about destiny or fortune or just like a feeling that like things in life coming out in a way that feels like chance. So this kind of gives an essence of, you know, if there's a decision that you've made, kind of a feeling of being put into a corner, kind of being boxed in, like whatever decision you had to make was not between like a pleasant choice and an unpleasant choice. It's kind of like you had shitty options to begin with. So whichever way you were gonna choose, it necessarily was not gonna feel like a good choice, if that kind of makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So it's kind of like one of these experiences where you had to make a difficult decision and the options that you had were not good options to begin with. But with the Have Faith card here, I feel like this card sort of has an energy of saying that because you did not have more pleasant choices to choose from, kind of this uh, feeling of, I want to say, being gentle with yourself, not taking any blame on for the fact that you didn't have better choices. Like, I think for some of my guys in this uh, pile, Taurus, that you may be feeling like it's your fault that there were not better options available to you. But this rune is kind of talking about like this was something outside of yourself. This was not your fault that you didn't have better options. It just was one of these situations where you kind of got stuck with really crappy choices and you had to make a hard decision in picking either one or the other, even though it you know, in all honesty, you would have rather to not choose either. With the Forgotten and Mysticism card here, I get the sense that you guys uh, in, in this group, Taurus, whatever this is, uh, you know, I, I will talk about it later because I do have sort of like a personal experience that is coming to mind that I feel like may be helpful and like sort of like relating to you guys just so that you kind of feel a little bit more seen, heard, understood, that kind of thing. But I get the sense that there is, I want to say for some, what's coming to mind is a desire to be seen. I feel like some of my Taurus people here are feeling very invisible very forgotten, very, maybe for some misunderstood. I feel like you may be feeling like life has forgotten you in a sense, almost like because you've had to deal with very difficult circumstances or 
not being able to have better options available to you that you may feel forsaken in in a certain area of your life or just in life in general like there is this sense of just drowning i guess in in difficulty of like in, in lack of uh choices and lack of being able to kind of make the changes that you want to make in this present moment i feel like that's kind of what i want to say the most like there there is a choice that you would have made instead of the one that you had to actually make but you at the stage of life maybe or because of circumstances you aren't yet able to make that that choice or to make that move what i do want to say here is that there is definitely an energy here of getting to a point of being able to actually make that change i think that just where you are right now you had to make a choice that just wasn't wasn't pleasant so so i do kind of want to talk about a personal experience that i think may just kind of be therapeutic and like a peer-to-peer -peer sort of sense of talking about you know this experience of having to choose between really two crappy options or even if it's more than two options like they all kind of seem or not even seem like they are all crappy options in a very extreme sense and trying to kind of like navigate uh na navigate that process and the impact of having to make a decision like that so if you are new to this channel we do a lot of things over here regarding our mental health. And a large part of that is because of my own experience with mental health diagnoses, as well as the challenges that kind of come up with that. Um, and so because of my own unique mental health diagnoses, there was a point in time where I ended up needing to seek um, emergency treatment for where I had kind of like hit hit a low that was just like very dangerous for me and so as a part of that process of trying to get help at one point in time i had ended up at a uh, residential uh, treatment center where you basically um, you stay there while you are seeking treatment and getting help and one of the reasons why i sought out that kind of treatment as a part of like my whole process was because i couldn't be at home for several reasons um, one of them being that it was negatively impacting my mental health. I didn't feel safe there for um, specific reasons. And so when it came time that my, you know, insurance was no longer going to cover uh, me being there, I ended up kind of being stuck with a really crappy choice because at this point I was um, on short-term disability because I was no longer able to kind of like function um, because of the symptoms I was experiencing and how low of a, a point that I had kind of like hit with my mental health. So I was on short-term disability. I, I didn't have any income coming in. I had maxed out all my credit cards to pay my rent while I was away seeking treatment. I, you know, was away from work for this time and kind of, you know, having a hard time communicating with, you know, my job and HR to make sure that the paperwork that they needed was getting filled out. Um, and I was still experiencing much of the symptoms that led me to seek treatment in the first place. So it, it was like I hadn't really seen the amount of progress I needed. And to kind of be very blunt, because of this, the idea of having to leave seeking treatment knowing that i still needed it it put me right back into that headspace of wanting to um unalive myself and so it was just one of those decisions where i realized that all of my choices right now for what i was going to do next were all shitty it was to either decide to unalive myself or to go back home to a home environment that had escalated me in a way to which I had needed to seek out treatment in the first place. Um, and to go back into that home environment and hope that eventually I could move out and to, you know, get, get the help that I needed. Um, and so that was kind of one of those life experiences where um 
all options were kind of like crappy for me and for my mom which is like the one person that I know loves me and supports me and she's kind of been that tether for me to where I you know have kind of held on to life even in the moments where I really just kind of wanted to not fight anymore um so like I, I just don't know what where I would have been without my mom I know the choice I probably would have made in that moment between those crappy choices if I did not have my mom but um yeah I chose the very hard decision to kind of go back into that home environment and after that process I worked you know really hard to move out on my own and was finally able to um last it hasn't even been a year that I've been on my own um but it has been the change that I the choice that I would have originally wanted to make but couldn't make at that time because I just didn't have the money to do it. Um, and so I share that to say that that's kind of similar to the experience that I feel like you guys are having at this present moment where you are having to choose uh, choose something as a a choice that really isn't what you would initially want to choose because of some sort of limitation. But you know, kind of, I think you guys also are aware of the choice that you would actually make if you could. So there is going to be this sort of point in time where um, you are figuring out how to make that thing a possibility for yourself moving forward so that the results that you're really needing to see, you can eventually see. And so I, I do kind of get the essence that like, if this is sort of like the personal story that kind of comes up for me, it also does kind of carry along like that heaviness of like, whatever you may be experiencing is most likely like really heavy for you guys. So in that essence, you know, I, I kind of feel, feel for you guys, Taurus. Um, if it is therapeutic at all to kind of like, talk about it in as little or as much detail as you want, please utilize the comment section or my email in the description. I will always read it um, just so that, you know, maybe sometimes it's helpful just to kind of vent in that way if you don't feel you can kind of talk about it. And two, as well, I do want to mention that, um, especially because sometimes we may not think about it, trying to seek out support especially support that we can afford i know that therapy is you know traditional therapy is not always an option for people going to you know um that that sort of right is not always an option um sometimes being able to find like free support groups free just free like resources if if that is available i just kind of want to bring that up in case that would be helpful um, but yeah, let's see what other cards you guys have today. So we have a time for healing as well as it's time to release negativity. So I do get the sense that for you guys, Taurus, that there is an essence here of heaviness that even though you are going through this process of healing, that again, it is sort of combined with like sort of like Oh, how how is the best way I can say this? It feels like you're healing at the same time that you're going through it because you are not you're not having the opportunity to make the choices that you really would make, and so there's sort of like um, being put back into a space that you are fearful of resulting in sort of like the same outcome that it resulted in the first time. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. Um, but please, like, if we can <clears throat> talk about the Have Faith card again, just remembering that the decision that you made, you made that decision knowing that that was the best option for you at the time, even though it wasn't the choice you would have originally wanted to make. Out of all the choices that you had, you chose the best one for that present moment. And so there's going to be this time in which you are making a game plan to improve your life, improve your circumstances, improve your environment so that you don't ever have to be subjected to whatever it was that you were subjected to in the past. So what other cards do we have for you guys here today? We have patience. Conditions outside us sometimes determine the best time to move forward while it is okay to wait and work on something else until conditions change. That's crazy. The first sentence for sure. Conditions outside of us 
sometimes determine the best time to move forward. So it's what we've been talking about. The life conditions, circumstances, you know, whatever this is, if it's emotional, uh, financial, familial, whatever this is, like the conditions that you are currently impacted by, they have determined the decisions and choices that you were able to make, the ways in which you were able to move forward. But also knowing that when you are able to continue the work that I know you guys are already doing and trying to figure out how to improve improve your life and improve your mental health by not having certain people or situations impact you, that you're going to see that progress. Okay, we also have grace. Make choices based on what your heart can live with. Even if those decisions may turn out wrong, in quotes, you receive grace after we've shown it to others. So this card for me is kind of talking about, again, the hard decisions that we made, like the choice that you chose may have not felt like the right choice. And for many, it really wasn't the right choice for you. It was just a choice that you could make knowing that the other ones were probably even worse outcome if that's what you were going to choose. But that you, again, made a choice that your heart could live with at this time. You you guys are my group who are definitely doing the best that you can with the circumstances that you have. This says you are worthy. Abundance is everywhere around you. Feel worthy and open yourself up to receive the many gifts that await you. Um, For me, this is reminding me again of like that support message. Um, Are there people that you can talk to as a support? Again, like... Please feel free to utilize the comment section. Like, I will be so extra and talk back and forth with you in the comment section. Please know that. But also, too, like, those free resources. I don't, you know, know which area you live in or which country you live in. But if you can, trying to see if there are supports for you. Um, that way you can get some assistance. And then we also have be nimble. When we ask for help, we are sometimes called to be flexible when it arrives in unexpected form. So you may find that when you are looking for help, that it it comes in a form that you just didn't expect. Like maybe you didn't expect to find a free support groups to be helpful. Maybe you were hesitant to go and seek out, you know, like emergency care for mental health diagnoses or maybe you didn't know that you'd be able to get inpatient psychiatric care. This doesn't have to be mental health related, but you just kind of get the essence of like, you may find that you are taking a step for something or seeking a resource or support for something that you didn't necessarily know that it was available to you until you kind of sought it out. And then lastly, we have two sides of the same coin. Pain and values go together. In order to not feel sadness, loss, anger, or fear, you would also have to not care about people and things in your life that matter. Who or what would you have to walk away from to never experience pain again? Would it last? This card for me, I feel like mirrors all of what we've been talking about in the sense of if you are, you know, say, for example, this is a person, right, who has resulted in a very large negative impact in your life. I feel like this card is saying if you were to walk away from this person when you finally can, right, because I feel like you guys would walk away from this person situation right now if you could. But for one reason or another, you can't yet. But I think that this card is saying that when you know internally that walking away from this person or situation is going to result in you no longer having to experience the pain that they have caused you or have made, you know, pain kind of crop up in your life in certain areas because of them or because of the situation. Um, I feel like this is just saying that a reiteration of when you are finally able to make that choice, knowing that the end of that pain will remain. Now, this does not mean that we will not, you know, need to still seek out help, treatment, support, that we won't want to heal in certain areas of our lives. You know, that is a continuous journey. But for what you may be currently experiencing, there is definitely this essence of being able to eventually walk away from this thing, this person, to really experience relief in this area that is going to last. That is what this card is really talking about. So I do want to get some more cards here. 
just to get some more information just just to keep talking to each other if you need to pause grab a coffee <laughs> or a drink or some tea or whatever um feel free to do that as well so we have duality the phrase that comes to my mind with this card for whatever reason is you're doing the best that you can this card makes me feel very um i guess like i get a sense of like a lot of emotional heaviness it makes me feel physically worn down like whatever you may be going through is um for some of you guys or many of you guys taking a very physical visceral impact on your life and um if you can see in this card here there's like these acorns and the bird underneath it like it's, it's almost like this feeling of like trying to dodge dodge these bullets in life that are coming coming to you um, and it just kind of feels like sometimes, sometimes life is hitting you in areas where it's just like, why, you know, like, why, what is, what is, there is no reason for this, right? Like there is, this is my pile where it doesn't necessarily, um, that phrase that people say, everything happens for a reason. Like I, nah, this isn't that pile where I feel like that applies. That is helpful. I feel like that would be a very invalidating thing. For many of my Tauruses to hear because whatever you're going through no there is no rhyme and reason why it happened if this was because of a person they hurt you and there was there is no saying that this happened for a reason no this is like this negatively impacted my life i'm dealing with the repercussions of what this person did what the situation caused and now i'm trying to crawl myself out of this situation and improve my circumstances and just make my life be something that i want it to be instead of what it is what it has ended up being because of someone else and now uh some last cards here altered view we have seeing things differently than they are past slash conditioning influencing situation reevaluate so i think that you guys are seeing the impact that someone has or something has had on your life and you have decided to remove the problem is it gives the phrase of like removing the cancer from my body like removing the issue removing the just removing whatever it is that has caused this this problem for you knowing that you are worthy of not having to experience this you are worthy of the life that you want you are worthy of just the improvements that you need to see so that you are not dealing with this heaviness all the time. And I hope that the personal story was helpful for you guys. Like, you know, I can say that it was, it seemed, it felt impossible to be honest um, in the present moment when I was going through what I shared. Um, in hindsight, I'm very grateful that I pushed through and when i say push i mean not in the sense of like oh you just need to push no like i was given effort and energy i really didn't have but for you that may be something different your motivation to hold on may be something different from one person to another please please hold on i love you taurus i know that we do not know each other personally but I do these readings because I really want people to know that in whatever you are experiencing, that you are not alone. Please, please, please. I know that in the present moment, um, you may be feeling alone if you can seek out support, like physical support. You know, I know that that in-person support is so huge. Um, so again, just kind of bringing you back to if there are any free resources that you can get, trying to seek those out, but also to, I am here. <laughs> I am watching the comments like a hawk. I have my email. If you need to just chat via email, just to vent, 
please know that I am more than happy to do that. But this is all that I have for you guys, Taurus. Thank you for being so patient with me today <laughs> with my rasp raspy voice. Um, as always, please remember that you are doing the best that you can in this present moment with the knowledge and the skills that you have. I hope that you found this reading to be confirmation of what you have been experiencing. That way you can feel heard, seen, and understood. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, Taurus.